Hey guys, today we have a very special knife and uh, this knife is a uh, it's made by Microtex owner uh, Tony Marfion and it's a custom SOCOM Delta. I think this knife has won the uh, best American made knife of the year uh, in the blade show. It has a 4 inches long blade. It's a little bit longer than the production uh, version. I think the production version is a 3.75 or so. It comes with uh, carbon fiber instead of uh, G10. The carbon fiber is, uh, is of a very good quality. Uh, it doesn't have a uh, the little uh, holes in it. Some uh, bad quality uh, carbon fibers will have some uh, uh, holes and it will chip when you're shaping the when you're shaping it. This one is uh, perfect. Uh, it has all these uh, shiny uh, twill uh, effects uh, but at the same time it's very smooth. Okay. Comes with full back spacer uh, with a sculptured uh, design which shifts off some weight but at the same time keep the maximum uh, strength okay line your hole here uh, it's been screwed down by one two three four uh, well eight screws okay so that's a, it has a very strong structure to begin with the carbon fiber uh, is it's pretty thin, but it's not to the extent that it will that you it will crash just by stepping on it. It doesn't come with liner, uh, but uh, for the purpose of this knife, which is light, uh, fast, and uh, deadly, um, I think that's the right way to go. Okay, because it is not a uh, hard use uh, ADC uh, chop chop then all. Uh, knife. It's more of a uh, stab, slice, stab, slice knife. Okay. The lock bar comes with a uh, how do you call this? Uh, well, I forgot the name of this. Okay. Excuse my English, um, but uh, this is replaceable, and it also uh, the design make it uh, make the lock bar. Um, cannot be over extend extend it uh, it use these uh, proprietary uh, screws that a microtech uses uh, I don't it, it has a good design and uh, it provides some traction but uh, it's not very easy to take it apart the clip is made very very nicely it has a bump here same as the uh, Chris Reeves uh, clip uh, with one screws screw and uh, fits really nicely in the pocket um, I don't like these uh, parts sticking up because sometimes when you grab it really hard it sticks into your palm but uh, um, I think it's it's good in terms that uh, when it's in the pocket and you want to pull it out uh, it gives you some attraction because the knife is pretty uh, slick Pretty smooth. You can even you can see the, the common fiber. So the way I pull it out is just I stick my thing, my thumb in, and then I use my uh, middle finger like that, and just I just pull it out. It, it comes out every time, so uh, there's no missing in uh, pulling it out, which is good. The body you see here, it has a little bit of curve up in the middle, and uh, that's a pretty cool design because. Uh, you can hold the uh, knife better. It's a little bit more uh, ergonomic. Um, there's a, a big groove here, so uh, at night when you cannot see, you can still feel it. So uh, you can you can deploy the knife really quickly um, with my thumb, or sometimes I just flick it with the uh, middle finger, um, not using the thumb stud on the other side, but using these grooves here. Uh, which can also deploy it really quick. 
Okay, so there are different type of uh, deploying uh, method. You can also uh, shake it out. Uh, it has a good detent, yes, good detent, but uh, you can still uh, shake it out really quick. You know, so that's I like it. I I, I really like that uh, feature. Um, it has a big pivot, as you can see here, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, it rides on some sort of uh, caged. Uh, ball bearing system, uh, which is uh, designed specially uh, by uh, Microtech, uh, that prevents some uh, dirt going in. So uh, that's a really good design. The thumb stud is flat, as you can see, but uh, it does give you traction. I don't know, but because uh, you cannot miss uh, deploying on this knife, or unless you like. You go like really, uh, really, uh, how to say, um, soft on it. But when you have the knife down, when you pull it out, and you have the knife uh, facing down, it, it it just cannot miss, okay? Because of the gravity, and uh, it will just go out really quick. Um, the grind at this one, awesome grind, awesome grind. Sorry about the focusing, but okay. Uh, it, it is a tanto and it has three type of finishes in this grind. It, this is a blasted. Uh, the groove here is blasted. Uh, the line here and the line here it's satin finish, and the belly here it's a stone wash with the uh, 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 Marfioni's uh, logo here, the dagger logo. I love that grind and I love that finish. It is just very, very awesome. Thick blade, I think it's about uh, three and a half millimeter uh, thick, uh, which is good for the tactical blade. And uh, uh, it also has a very strong tip. The thumb stud rests on uh, two pieces of metal here, so uh, you don't have to worry about it chipping off the uh, carbon fiber. Jimping is very sharp very useful. Um, thing is very light for a four inches blade. And probably about four, I think it's 4.2 ounces or 4.5, something like that. Uh, so this knife is really fast and it's lining fast. Um, what else? Um, center blade. Uh, I don't know, I just love, I just so much love this knife. Um, it, it is expensive, yes, it is expensive, but uh, I will use it and I will carry it uh, because it's just one of those knives that uh, it serves its purpose and uh, I will be very sad if this thing sits uh, in the safe uh, because it, it, it's not so much as a collector's knife. It doesn't come with fancy uh, materials or uh, stuff like that, but uh, it's just it's just cool. It's just functional. Uh, it's just very EDC friendly. Um, if I have uh, more money, I'll probably get another one with a full TI uh, handle and uh, maybe collect that and use this. All right, guys. Um, if you get a chance to own one, do not hesitate. This is just so much better, and there are no uh, lock issue. I have seen one with a production knife with lock issue, but uh, no lock issue on this one. About 50 for 50 percent lock up, perfect lock up. Um, everything is just perfect on this knife. Everything, and uh, I. I strongly suggest you get one uh, if you cannot get a production one because it's a little bit more expensive try to get a I mean a custom one try to get the production one it will it will it will not be as good but it, it will still be good oh and I got this from uh, Matt D tactical Matt D is a very very nice guy and uh, this is an international shipment I bought it last week and I received this week okay go visit his website matt m-a-t-t-d tactical.com 
he has a lot of cool stuff and cool knives. Alright, thank you guys. Bye.